Hello. Lake and Aith really likes rubber bands. Today we finish assembling the spider and take it for a test drive. The first step is to loop 30 rubber bands on this little rectangle. By piling the rubber bands on top of each other, they all fit easily. Next, put the rubber bands and rectangle into a ring that was made earlier. This becomes the cap for the right side main gear. Before putting the cap on the dowels, the rubber bands need to be separated into two groups, 15 on each side. Ed cut up a rubber band to tie the two bundles, but you can use string as well. When rubber bands are involved, you can't keep Lakinate away for long. Now push the cap onto the four dowels on the side of the spider. Make sure the cap is secure. Somehow the gear on the left side of the spider came apart. This will require a major disassembly. However, Ed decided to finish attaching the cap first. Now, Ed separates the two halves. The toothpicks were a little too skinny and the top piece popped off. Ed reassembles the gear and puts a dab of glue on top of each toothpick and the surrounding wood. Once dry, this should prevent the piece from separating again. The next day, Ed puts the two halves back together. Now to move the rubber bands. The kit comes with a paper clip. It should be unfolded and used as a hook to pull rubber bands from one side of the gear to the other. It's tedious work, but it's only 30 rubber bands. If the last bend of the paper clip is left alone, it forms a hook. However, Ed felt the hook was too long and fashioned a shorter hook with some pliers. The general flow is to pick a rubber band, push it in the hole at the middle of the gear, use the hook to pull it to the other side, then attach the rubber band to an anchor point on the left cap. Pull the rubber bands from one group before working on the other group. The bands from one group naturally go to one anchor and those from the other group go to the other. Halfway done. There. All of the rubber bands have been stretched to their final position. Now, put the brake on, turn the rectangular handle a few times, then unlock the brake. The left side should spin easily until most of the tension is released. The little gears spin along with the big gear. Although it seems fast, once the legs are on, friction will slow them down. Now, it's time to fill out the body. First, insert two horizontal pieces to the back of the spider. Then, add four vertical pieces into the horizontal pieces. Two on the right, and two on the left. Keep wiggling the pieces until they are all the way in. Unfortunately, other parts tend to get in the way. Now it's time for the legs. First, insert a vertical piece on each side of the spider. Now, build the lower right leg piece. Lake and Aith is back to check on the work. This uses leg assemblies two and three from the beginning of the project. The upside down T at the bottom of each leg needs to be inserted into the slot and then twisted so it is centered in the circle and can't fall out. Take the horizontal piece with the two attached legs and insert it into the lower slot on the left vertical piece. There are also two holes on either side of the main gear. 
At the same time, you want to get the end point of each leg into a round hole on the pieces attached to two of the small gears. It is a bit of a juggling act, but keep trying. Once everything is in place, lock them in place. The upper horizontal leg piece has a similar arrangement, this time using leg assemblies 4 and 5. Because there is a smaller separation between the legs, adding the legs is tricky. Ed turned the first leg in the same direction as the second leg while putting it in, and then turned them both to their final orientation. Add the horizontal piece to the upper slot on the upright and two slots in the main body. Again, align the points of the legs with holes in the pieces attached to the small gears. That's one side done. Turn the spider around and work on the other side. Add legs to the lower horizontal piece. Attach it to the main body. Add legs to the upper horizontal piece. Attach it to the main body. Check all the leg attachments one last time. You now have a mechanically complete spider. As a final step, add a couple of accent pieces, just to make it look cooler. First, add four eyes. It's hard to tell, but there are two different sizes. Then add two fangs. These don't move or spit venom. They are just for show. The time has arrived to test the spider. Will it move? Ed's first trial went like this. That's okay. He probably didn't wind it enough. And now for the second try. Well, it moved some, but not really what we were hoping for. Finally, Ed wound it tighter, making sure the rubber bands weren't tangled. Let's see how it goes. Oh, wow! <laughs> it sounds like Ed is pleased. We'll leave him to play with his new toy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with the next video.